Once again, I want to welcome you to the Voice of Hope. This is your servant, Pastor Isaac Apple. Today, God has a very special message for you, a message of hope in these difficult times that we live in. But before I get into today's message, I want to give you a quick update on the Hope 10,000 project. By the grace of God, we have made about 90% of the payment to the press so that work can begin. It's left just about 10% and we are hoping and praying that by the end of this month, we would have all that we need to pay all the books so that we will start the distribution in the month of August. So if you still want to be part of the 70 people, please go ahead and send your support to us on our mobile money number 055 15 Or any quantity or any amount the Lord placed upon your heart. Let us come together, any amount you can support with, so that together we can send hope to 10,000 people. God bless you. Today, my dear friend, I want to share a message with you which I've entitled, Faithfulness Even When It Does Not Make Sense. There are certain times in our lives as Christians where things become so difficult and moving forward as a Christian doesn't even make sense. How do we do that? Well, for us to be able to endure hardship even when things are difficult, then we need to understand that the calling of God upon our lives is not only going to be on bed of roses. There is a song that I love so much. It says that, he never made a promise that the journey will be easy. Understand this. In Matthew chapter 24 verse 13, the Bible says, But the one who endures to the end will be saved. As we wait for the trumpet to sound, we are in the midnight hour. And in the midnight hour, things are bound to be rough. That is why in Matthew chapter 7 verse 14, our Lord Jesus Christ said, But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life and only a few find it. The path to which we tread to heaven is not a smooth road. It is a path that is full of thorns. It's a path that is full of rocks and things that makes life uncomfortable. You must understand and you must accept the fact that in the midnight hour as we prepare for the bridegroom to come, we are going to experience various forms of disappointment. We are going to experience job loss. We are going to experience health problems. We are going to experience persecutions. We are going to experience trials and afflictions and many other problems would come into our lives. But understand that this does not mean that our Lord Jesus has left us. Know that this is the journey that we have accepted to take and this journey no matter how rough it will be will lead us to the very shores of heaven so today my dear friend i want to encourage you just as jesus christ encouraged the church in smyrna in revelation chapter 2 verse 10 he said do not be afraid of what you were about to suffer i tell you the devil will put some of you in prison to test you and you will suffer persecution for 10 days be faithful even to the point of death and I will give you life as your victor's crown. May God reward your faithfulness. Do not worry my dear friend. Stand firm because this too shall pass. God would indeed come true for you at the right time and you magnify his name in your life. May God bless you today and forevermore. Amen.